Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. Today we have a small topic from pharmacology that is a disclosing solution. That is basically plaque disclosing agents, so solution or agents. It is a topic under pharmacology but sometimes it comes in uh, periodontology that is a final year topic. Anyway. Uh, first we need to understand what is plaque what is debris okay so plaque and debris are entirely different thing the main difference is debris is visible we can see with our eyes but plaque is invisible that is a basic difference you just cannot see the plaque what you are seeing is debris okay so debris you can uh, scrape it off easily using uh, diagnostic instruments but plaque you just cannot scrape it off because it is uh, adhered to the tooth structure using a chemical force because there is a internal structure for the adhesion there is a chemical force which is adhering the particles or the structure that is the internal structure which is made up of uh, the collagen or the debris and the bacterial byproducts and creating a strong force between tooth and this plaque so you just cannot easily remove the plaque but you can easily remove debris so the disclosing solution are solutions which helps us to visualize the plaque so it is basically used in uh, examination purpose okay when we are doing some research purpose or if you are done a, a cleaning and still want to uh, recheck whether all the plaque is gone or not you can use a disclosing solution to confirm it okay so plaque will not be removed by normal brushing it has to be removed using a professional cleaning that is a oral prophylaxis so what are the ideal properties of disclosing solution the first thing is its taste okay it should be having a good taste then uh, it should be flavored it should encourage the patient cooperation Second thing is intensity of color that is uh, we need to have a evident contrast between uh, the surrounding environment we need to differentiate the plaque from the surrounding environment so the intensity should be good then the duration of intensity that is a retentive power that is a color should not rinse off easily by simple rinsing using uh, water rinsing it should be uh, stick to the plaque for a time period okay and it should not be irritating uh, to the mucosa it should not be allergic there should be uh, some uh, antiseptic properties and the dye must be capable of adequately penetrating the plaque uh, deposit and it should be um, water soluble and it should be having a selective staining efficacy that is it should uh, stain the old plaque and the new plaque differently now what are the uh, basic dyes used as disclosing agent so the first one is iodine preparation then mercurochrome preparations then bismarck brown merbromin erythrosin dye phosgreen uh, then the fluorosin and two-tone dye basic with sin and the three tone dye okay so the first one is iodine preparation so as you see here the skin is iodine solution has iodine crystal around 3.3 percentage and potassium added 16 percentage and zinc added 10 and distilled water 16 percentage whereas a diluted tincture of iodine the tincture of iodine is around 21 percentage with distilled water 15 so this iodine preparation it changes the plaque it changes the plaque into deep brown or black color okay 
so this is a color which changes that is it becomes deep brown or black by applying the iodine so this discoloration uh, disappears in few minutes the advantages are low cost clinical photography uh, is possible with this and disadvantages are patient allergy some people are allergic to uh, this iodine so allergy is a problem then the taste also an issue with few people that is about the iodine the mercurochrome preparation so mercurochrome solution 5 percentage has mercurochrome 1.5 and distilled water 30 percentage whereas a flavored solution has mercurochrome 13.5 gram and distilled water 3 ml with oil of peppermint uh, just three drops okay next we have the bismarck brown bismarck brown has a three gram with ethyl alcohol 10 ml uh, with glycerin 120 ml and uh, flavor one drop whereas a metbromine metbromine uh, sodium fluoride 450 milligram oil of peppermint one drop with distilled water 100 ml then the erythrosin it is based on the purpose we have uh, one thing is for rinsing okay this is for erythrosin it's very commonly used it's closing dye one purpose is rinsing then for uh, topical application it is a direct topical application then as a tablet or wafers tablet or wafers if it is uh, by rinsing uh, the solution contain alcohol 10 ml distilled water 100 ml with two drops of peppermint oil then if it is topical application the alcohol will be 10 ml distilled water 100 ml similarly the two drops peppermint oil whereas the erythrosin will be 0.8 gram uh, tablet or wafers sodium chloride sodium uh, sucral uh, calcium stearate white oil flavoring agent are in these percentages so the advantages are it fades in brief time it does not stain the dental equipment or clothing no staining then it does not stain the composite or it does not have any possible effect that iodine or mercury stain has so basically this erythrosin is very commonly used because of its non staining properties okay there is no stains now we have the fast green and fluorosin this fluorosin fast green is uh, 3 to 5 percentage is used that is fast green uh, 6 product around 3 to 5 percentage the next one is fluorosin is a, a newer technique that is uh, we use a special uv light to make the agent visible so we have an apparatus to make it visible which gives off a uh, white light uh, but before that we need to give two drops of fluorosin based solution in patient's mouth and ask the patient to uh, swish properly after that we use this light to visualize the plague now we have the most popular one two tone dye so the older plague older plague and the newer plague so the older plague will be visible as blue and the newer plague will be visible as red okay so that is the difference then we have the basic first thing which is basically ethyl alcohol preparation with a few drops of distilled water which has ethyl alcohol with water so that was all about uh, the various types of disclosing solution it will never be asked as a long essay it will be mostly a short essay 
or short note sometimes just the erythrocin dye or tourtone dye will be asked as a short note where you need to write about the disclosing solution what is plaque what is depreis why we need to use disclosing solution for plaque all those things you need to explain in detail then you can explain about its application and some properties of the particular agent okay so ultimately it is disclosing it is revealing it is revealing the plaque because plaque is invisible you never forget that plaque is invisible to reveal that to disclose that we are using some agents they are disclosing agents so i'll come up with a new topic in 10 to 10 more thank you